on how to make the when is that? Yeah. Olatch Jessica from Ogling.com and this is Kara. I am here to bring you a DIY on Easter headbands. <laughs> if you remember or if you want to check out how I made my lace DIY headbands, check out my video. And if you have a little one that can't quite wear headbands or clips because no hair, I made this using all scraps, which is fabulous because I can never come up with enough projects for all my scraps and I have a problem throwing them away. I can, I'm gonna show you how I made this one. I use all scrap pieces here. I had scrap fleece, flannel, lace, trim, and elastic. So you're also gonna need scissors and a glue gun. So I cut three inch by two inch rectangle out of the white and I placed two white pieces on top of each other. And then I cut just like a half inch on the bottom just to give me a flap. I'm gonna use this to actually attach to the elastic headband. Once I have that flap cut out, I just rough cut what I thought ears would look like. So it's like a, a drop of water kind of is what, how I thought of it. And then once I cut that out, it is really rough of a cut and I separated them and then try to clean up my cut edges just so it looked a little bit better. I then placed the pink flannel on top of the white ears and I cut them out the same shape using white ears as template. However, I went back and cut down the pink flannel so that it would be smaller than the white ears but using the same shape. Using the pink as a template, cut out two pieces of lace. Now it's time to glue. So I just glued the entire pink down. And then the lace, I used my scissors to help me at this point. So I just put a little bit of glue on the edge of the pink, laid the lace down, used my scissors to press it down. Because it's lace, the glue is going to seep through. You don't want to burn your fingers. I had this trim. So all I did was place the glue on the trim and then I just kind of wrapped it on the back side of the white ears and I used my scissors again so it wouldn't burn my fingers. If you get this glue drying white instead of clear, get your hair blow dryer and just set it on the highest heat and go over it, let it dry with, before touching it and it'll actually dry clear. Now using scrap felt at one and three quarters of an inch by seven inches, I cut a rectangle, I folded it in half, and then I took one flap and folded it over. And then I put a dot of glue in the center of that just to keep them together. So now that you have that glue down, open up the flaps and you're gonna press that loop down so that it's even on both sides and then place another dot of hot glue in the center of that to keep that loop down. The bow's gonna look very boxy at this point, so next with the good pair of scissors, I had to switch mine up. You wanna cut out a V from the top and the bottom, and also from each side. Now using the trim, I'm just gonna put a dab of glue on the edge attach it to the bow and then swirl it like an ice cream going up, put another dab of glue at the top so that it stays down. And that is how you create the little bunny tail, which is what I'm kind of thinking it looks like. Now for the headband. I happen to have a baby to measure her head, but if you don't or you're making it for someone else, I did find this little elastic guideline headband. So remember it's for elastic and if you're measuring against your own baby's head to add an extra inch so that you can attach it. Now when you're gluing it, you glue overlap one inch like you've seen. Make sure that you don't twist it. Once you got that done, I actually like to put the overlapped part where the bow is going to sit so I can cover it. So right now I'm dry fitting it to make sure that I like it 
and everything is gonna go where I think it should go. Once you have it where you like it, then you're gonna start gluing. Starting with the ears, glue them down. That's where that little extra flap's gonna come in handy. And then I did the lace, and then I put the bow last on top. Remember that you're hot gluing it, so as soon as you're done, give it a minute to cool down. You don't want to be putting hot anything on your baby, <laughs> so be careful. Yay, I hope you like this video, and if you do, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and have a happy and safe uh, Easter. God bless. Bye. Bye, mamas. Bye. Adios. Adios. Adios.